Hey, my name is Ocean Gross. Um, I brought a company from zero to two million in under a year, and I want to show you guys the exact same system that I use to be able to market that business so that I can actually get more customers and scale. And there's also some lessons that I learned along the way. So here's how to fill your calendar in 90 days with high ticket clients with no marketing budget, even if you've never run ads before. Now, this is going to be more for services, not so much for e com, um, but it still has, it still teaches you everything that you need to know in the same systems that I use about how I market and message um, on, on Facebook ads. All right, so five core functions of a business are lead gen, lead nurture, sales, fulfillment, and upsell, and then resell. And so we're going to go over a lot of that um, on this. There's like 80 slides here. So uh, there's a lot. Make sure that you pull out a pen and pencil and, and like get ready to learn because there's some cool stuff here. All right, so we're going to go over um, some first things about copy. And creative, which is the picture or video, gets people to stop. Copy gets people to convert. So if you write a story in your copy, people are going to be more likely to convert because they're actually reading through it and they have something to engage with, which is why you see a lot of these sales pages. When you go to a landing page after you click on a Facebook ad, is you, they're sometimes pretty long so that you can read through and get a lot to consume if you have questions. So there's messaging reasons. There's headlines, subheadlines, call out, offer, reason why, three bullets around the core message, benefit of the benefit, CTA, and PS. And we're going to go over all that. So messaging reasons are uh, dream outcomes. So what people want, hey, I want um, a million dollar business or whatever whatever that may be for you. The results are the price, the speed, the value, what do you get out of it? So if you can like put a number on that and quantify, you can talk about that in your, in your messaging reasons. And I would go with like usually one thing here so that you can figure out the angle that people enjoy the best. So the experience, the benefit of the benefit, hey, um, now I can now I can spend more time with my family. You're telling a story about that, maybe emotional reactions, maybe some testimonials that people had that are pretty that are pretty strong. Um, your story, struggle, and solution, feel felt found, if you know what that is, and then selling. So this is benefits offer only, like, hey, you know, we'd love for you to join the program. Here's what it's like. Just just join now. You can just straight up sell, and that works too. The unique mechanism is um, like we had the video sales system. That's one thing that we used when when we were doing a lot of like selling on video production for for local businesses. We used the video sales system, and it was a system that people could buy into to be able to um, to uh, well, you know. Uh, it was a system that works. And then when people, it was very referable too, because other people were like, Hey, I heard that they had the video sales system. I want what they're using. Cause it worked for them. So that, that worked. And then sustainability, Hey, one year later, this guy is still crushing it. And so you can crush it as well. All right. And so this is uh, versus headlines. Um, this is with the, the, uh, you're calling out who you're talking to. And so you're saying high ticket coaches, consultants, and expert. That's who you're talking to get a hundred million dollar uh, done for you video sales funnel. So that's what the, the video sales funnel is what it is. And then it's $100,000 per month is the outcome. So you're just like straight up, um, this is a headline. This is exactly who you want to, you want to say, hey, do you want to call out your target audience? So do you struggle with this or are you this person? All right, so next thing is offer an ad placement. So um, you have right here, attention homeowners. And this is, I mean, I'm not picking anyone. I just found um, some ads here that were really good examples. Um, and I have some ads that I've used as well. Um, so ready to turn your backyard into your own private resort. There you go, starting it. So they have the price there and then free estimate plus consultation, only seven spots left. So you have um, right there, the offer is in the ad placement. So the offer, what they're offering, sure, they're, they're building pools, but they're offering you a free consultation. And that works for pretty much any service-based business. Like, hey, we can do it. We can give you a free consultation. Um, I tend not to do those. It depends on, on how competitive the market is. I prefer something like a value. If people really do need a consultation, you can do that. But it's very time-consuming. and just depends on who you're talking to and you have to know your audience. So the offer is in the ad or the image or a thumbnail. So for example, here's an ad that, that, um, that a style of ad that we've run before and he has a banner on top, go viral in 2024. So you're calling out right away. Like, Hey, this is what we're doing for you. Create viral shorts with AI in seconds. Um, and then TikTok videos, Instagram reels. So you kind of, kind of go through what it is. And that's just straight up. The offer is in the image itself. Images are great. Um, videos are also great. Here's an example of a video that we ran. Um, contractors make an under, extra $150,000 um, this year. And there's, that's kind of explained. That's a video, but it's also a banner in the top that is like, here's what we can do for you. Um, looking to boost your revenue, get more consistent work, copy and paste proven contractor ads. So there was, there was one, um, there was one that we just had straight up the offer inside of the picture as well. And right here, you'll see on like, uh, this is for, for building pools. This is a silver package. And then this is, here's where the price starts. So that's an example of how you can put your offer in the image itself. 
All right, subheadlines. So these are things that go obviously under your headlines. So uh, this is, could be a result um, without a claim. There's you know five types of subheadlines. So for video production specifically, um, as much as getting videos done for me was cool, you won't believe what happens when we started posting the videos. That is like someone saying, oh my goodness, after we started posting them, it turned out really well. Whatever it may be for you. So that's that's a result without a claim. All right, so are you this avatar? So you're calling out and, and like essentially if you make videos, you know that every video needs a hook. You are, who is your viewer? You're talking about, do you have this problem or are you this person? So attention, Texas homeowners, that is an example of someone who you're calling out in your marketing. So name plus big promise. So this video sales system will change your marketing forever and you can get it in 30 days or less. So that's the name of the video sales system. And the promise is we're going to get it to you in 30 days or less. So another, uh, another thing that you can talk about in your copy. Um, so this is the, this is the reason why. You can justify lowering your prices or giving uh, maybe some sort of discount. And you can say the reason that we're doing this is because of a holiday or just because or maybe end of year sale or, hey, we're looking for honest feedback so that you can so that we can build our program back better. Those are all examples of things that you can put in your copy of reasons why you're doing certain discounts to be able to drive more uh, sales. So. Next part is three benef three bullet points. So this is features and maybe benefits as well. This is outstanding hassle-free communication. That's that's a benefit. Um, honest pricing, so you feel like you're getting the best deal. Unmatched service that will that you're sure you're going to love. So those are features and benefits. Uh, three bullet points that you can talk about in your copy. Next one is benefits guaranteed. So if you say results guaranteed, or sorry, benefit of the benefit. If you say results guaranteed, no one really understands what that means. So what that means for you is instead of saying results guaranteed, you say something like your video in 30 days or less, we'll design your, your campaign and we'll get it to you or we'll keep designing it until you do love it. That's an example of, of you can say the benefit of the benefit of, of going with us instead of just results guaranteed. Um, another example of this is more family time. So at the end of the day, when you're running a business, you realize you never knew how much spend you, you're spending time to market, market your business. We're spending less time in the business now than ever. You reach for your normal cup of coffee and you actually feel wide awake and calm and focused after realizing you're being able to comfortably run your own business. You'll open up your eyes in the morning and be relaxed rather than stressed, wishing that you could have spent more time with your family. So that's an example of the benefit of the benefit. You're doing the marketing for them or you're doing something for someone else and then that's you know the benefit they're going to get from it. That applies to pretty much any, any niche, any avatar. So your call to action is, Tell them how to sign up and what's next. So if you want X without Y, so if you want more sales without having to film all the content yourself, then click below and type in your info, schedule your dream outcome call. Do not apply if you're a meanie. There's an example of a PS. Um, so there's a PS, there's a damaging admission. So you can put PS, we aren't the biggest or the shiniest, but we are the people who you come to last because you won't never need to try again. Reinforce CTA. You really should grab a spot. It will really get you what you want and love it. Scarcity. There's only five spots left. I really like using scarcity. Um, I think I think it's a pretty cool thing to just put in there. Authority. We've done this a thousand times. There's a really good authority. Hey, we've done this a lot. We have we've made a lot of videos where we where whatever you've done. Call always. Um, so this is must love dogs. Uh, always always. Um, it's sort of like a humorous thing, but you have to be careful because not not all the time people can take humor, and you have to be careful with how you use humor in marketing. Um, but if you if you call, you know, must love dogs, PS must love dogs, that's just something funny that you could put in there if it's something that resonates with you. Make them feel good. PS, you are amazing. Micro micro congruence. Since you're reading this, then this means you are a good fit. All right. So just to read which says buckets here, but messaging reasons, headlines, subheadlines, call out. Offer, reason why, message, uh, uh, three bullets around the core message, benefit of the benefit, call to action, and then a PS. All right, so this is the winning ad buying strategy. Placing and running ads isn't complicated, but it does require vigilance. I check my ads maybe a couple times a week, and it's not, I don't really do anything more than that because after I set them and I know that they're running good, I don't have to be marrying to, married to them all the time and like just constantly watching them every single day. Um, this is, uh, and that's like how to make your ad. And now it's how to get them to actually show up. So you're, you're getting leads now and how you get them excited to actually want to show up to whatever, whatever it is that you're providing. So, um, you've launched your ads and now you have names, emails, and phone numbers flying in. So some leads are scheduling and some aren't. So here's how do you get them to close faster so that you can actually make more money? So here's the four pillars of lead nurture is availability, speed to contact volume and personalization. 
So the biggest number pillar is availability and the biggest mistakes companies make in lead nurture is simply not having enough appointments to be able to uh, choose from. So um, imagine if Walmart and Target was only open for business on Monday, Mondays, um, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., Wednesdays, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., Thursdays, 11 p.m. to 12 p.m. Would they make more money if they did that? No, they will not. Now, why won't they make why won't they make more money? Because if you're not available to meet with people to give them more money, they won't give it to you, and <laughs> which means you won't make any money. So instead of instead of saying no to more money, here's what here's what your availability should look like: Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., 3 p.m. to 7:30 p.m. Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 7 to 7 you know 7 ish, 7:30 p.m. That's what I prefer. And, um, it's worked really well for me. I think that a lot of people, you know, also we don't really, we are careful with how you book out. Um, but no one's going to think like, oh man, this person's not busy because they have a bunch of slots available on their calendar. I wouldn't worry about it. You're overthinking it. Appointments should be at least 30 minutes along and prospects should be able to book an appointment every 15 minutes and they should only be able to book up to 72 hours out. So instead of, um, Instead of scheduling it three months out, you know, I've seen people, I've seen companies that book like months in advance. Like you're just not, no one's going to show up for a call that's months in advance. So we only book out for 30, for 72 hours. All right. So pillar number two is speed to contact. This is really simple. Every lead that you comes in, you want to call them within five minutes of opting in, even if it's late at night. So if someone submits, boom, you're going to call them right away. Hey, what's up? I just saw you booked in or didn't book in. You know, how can we help it? Essentially, um, you should have a call script, which I do provide you with as well. Um, there's some resources that I have. Responding to a new lead within the first minute increases conversion by 391%. That's in B2B sales. Um, so if you hate money, then, um, so if you don't hate money, then just pick up the phone and call them. They opted in for a reason. Number three is volume. This is where everyone messes up. And here's why the volume outreach it takes to, uh, uh, the volume of outreach it takes for someone to be successful at acquiring a new customer is unreasonable. It takes a lot of effort and it consistently takes an unreasonable amount of effort to follow up and to get an adult to show up for an appointment that they scheduled. So get over it and just do the work. Um, here's how much time that you should contact them if they don't decide uh, to, to show up or, or to book a call and days one through five, three times a day, days five to 10, two times a day days 11 through 20, one time a day, and then um, days 21 through 30, three times a week. That's a combination of phone calls and texts, and then emails if you are if you have the ability to do that as well. And if you feel like you're bothering them, then they will not bother you with their money. So pillar number four is personalization. This is the secret sauce to ensuring your hard-earned money does not go to waste. So here's how to personalize your outreach to improve your show rates. And here's one video text messages. I love video text messages. And especially if you know the person's name, then you actually say the person's name. It's not just a, a message that you blast out. Voice memos is another one. So, um, you know, Hey, what's up going, what's going on? You know, they can hear your voice there. It's more of a personalized, especially if you're iPhone to iPhone, for example, um, friend requests on Facebook, IG, um, whatever your platforms are, maybe it's LinkedIn. Um, I, I suggest that as well. Those go a long way. Cause it's like, Oh, this is a real person trying to reach me and then use memes and emojis tastefully. All right. So now you're getting them excited to show up. Now, how do you actually close them? So to close a prospect consistently, you're going to need three main things, social proof and irresistible offer and the five question framework. So you want to close more deals and create, you need to create more certainty in your prospects. And so before you even start the sales appointment, you want your prospects to feel like you're an expert. You have a proven track record of success and you have done this for people like them, not just once or twice, but hundreds of times. So by the way, the best way to create more certainty is through social proof. So before and afterwards, Facebook reviews, Google reviews, Yelp, video testimonials and endorsements. And these are all things that you can do. If you've been doing this long enough, you should be getting testimonials from as many people as possible. And you should provide that level of service so that people are willing and able to do that. So here's, you know, here's how do we make this um, happen prior to the actual appointment setting? So if you're going, you're going to want to have at least one, if not all of the following things in your pre-call um, SOP wall to floor, wall, floor to ceiling testimonials in your sales process. So if you're doing in-person sales, you should have them all over the place. If you're doing virtual sales or um, you should have it before the call, Hey, just want to send you over a page. Here's a page with a thousand testimonials. This is probably going to be useful for you. Or maybe you're doing, um, in-person sales and you have like a little binder. One of my favorite things is to bring a binder. We'll get into that later. Um, here's an example email of, Hey, here's a testimonial. Here's a project name. Um, it's, it's just something that we give away uh, so you can be actually be able to send someone ahead of time. Hey, just want to send you, make sure you go to this link and then um, on your laptop or smartphone, and then it'll give you a few details about the experience that we have working on this ahead of time. 
a flip book of testimonials for when you present. So that would be like, you know, one of those three ring binders and you, you have like 50 pages in there of all the projects with like the testimonials of what people have saw ahead of time. Um, I like to have this like more physical rather than digital, um, especially if you're doing in-person sales, um, which, you know, depending on your niche, I probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't suggest those. I would probably do virtual as much as possible, especially if you're selling video, then, you know, you have videos. Some people need to see that. So it has to be online. A video with rolling reviews before and after testimonials um, that you can send to them as well. That really helps out. Super easy to make. All right. So next thing is social proof. You've already done that. Now you're on to the irresistible offer. So the easiest way to close them and make more deals, even if you suck at sales, is to have the best offer on the market. So here's the offer that we found that has the highest close and cash collected rate. So this is the assumed sale. So that you're going to have an A, B offer, meaning if they don't take A, they, they can they can take offer B. So that means if you're trying to sell the prospect an option A and they balk at you and or, that you can't overcome their objections and you can downsell them into option B. And so uh, I, I love doing this a whole lot. This has been super helpful because it's a, uh, it's a, um, would you like this one or this one? I think it works pretty well and it's not too pushy either, which I'm not a big fan of those. This reduces the decisions and they're, they're really, they're more likely to be put in a position where they say yes, because they feel like they have control over it. It's not, do you want to join? It's how would you like to get started? You, um, how you find, uh, how you fulfill stays the same. The only thing that changes is the length of the agreement, the money collected at point of sale. And then, um, so for example, here you could do uh, payments versus pay in full. That's an example. Um, all right. So the AB for sale is the preferred package, so, um, preferred one dream outcome VIP package. What they get is advanced custom work, lifetime warranty, project tracking, timeline, special extras, you know, whatever it is, whatever your offer is, then you can kind of fill that in there. Um, the next thing is, but what if they say no to the dream offer package? Then the second thing you have is the dream, um, this is the different package that you're going to have streamlined dream outcome package, collect the payment first up front. And this is what they get advanced custom work, lifetime, pro lifetime warranty, project tracking timelines, and then special extras. They get the dream outcome package free when they're signing up for this agreement. In order to close prospects consistently, you're going to need three main things. And we've gone over social proof, irresistible offer, and now we're going to move over to the five question framework. And so by now you've already been given your prospects, the certainty in your ability and you actually have facts based off of the results that you have had previously. Now it's time to do the actual sale itself. So every single sale follows the same pattern and it's one that we've seen completed successfully thousands of times and we've broken it down into five questions to make it easier. Um, if you follow Jeremy Miner, if you don't yet, you should. He's awesome at sales and so that's kind of where this comes from. Great guy. So what, pro what problems do you solve? So um, what, what made you interested in our offer? What's your goal? What made you want to sign up for the, our offer online? Those are questions and like, what, what is it that you solve that these people are, are struggling with? And as soon as you figure that out, you can move on to the next step. So the point is to establish a gap. There's something that they want that they haven't been able to achieve so long or maintain after achieving. And the easiest way to find out what it is that they want with your program is to just simply ask. What problems do you solve? Now you're going to move on to what is the root cause of their problems. And here's where you establish and highlight a recap of their current state versus their desired state and place a label on them with a problem of not having your solution. And most people don't like doing this, but you're going to have to actually cause your prospects a little bit of pain because people only buy when they're in pain. That's it. So what problems do you solve? What is the root cause of this problem? Okay, got it. So you want more leads for your business and well, you know, how much time are you spending on it now? Or you're making video content and how much time are you spending on it now? Too much or not enough, or I'm not really sure what to do. Okay. So you're currently spending five hours a week and your business is trying to grow. Does that sound about right? Yes. You need, you need more video content. Okay. Um, and then if they're, if they keep on, um, like kind of pushing back on it, um, you, you might have to be persistent because they might not fully understand why you're asking certain questions. So that's really fine. If, the, if they uh, don't want to, don't want to be uh, super, super cooperative in answering questions. Um, so if you get there, we, you know, if we get you there, you won't be upset with me. Ha ha. You know, little joke, whatever. Make it, make, make it fun. Make it fun. All right. So, um, Here's, here's where you kind of review what they've done in the past and how does the problems affect them personally. So you have to figure out what they're doing that's not working that affects them personally because they have reasons why it's not they're not buying in their business. Hey, I need more sales. I have staff, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, but there are things personally that matter more, much more than um, just hard numbers. So maybe it's... Um, Great. So I know where you're at and where you're trying to go, but what have you tried so far? 
Um, I, and then once again, if they, if they kind of push back, Hey, I can't really help you unless I, I can't really help you get to where you're trying to go until I know what you've been and what you've done. This is once again, reinforcing and trying to, um, see what's causing them pain so that you can relieve that. And what are the consequences of not solving the, the problem? You want to mentally or visually categorize each one of their problems into a chart and, and then the uh, pain problem cycle process. I like to do it on a notepad. So I'll have a notepad or I'll have an iPad with me and I'll actually write down some of the pains that they tell me on the call so that um, when, when we get to the end, when I present things, I have them and I know exactly, hey, so you've tried this in the past. This is what you're trying to do. And this is roughly what that could look like. So you, you, some questions to keep in mind when you're thinking about what their pains are, you can think about what they've done in the past, how long they did it for and how long ago and what they, what they did. Um, how did that work for them and what else have they done? So it's like, Hey, Hey, I've sure I've heard that you tried other people and, um, maybe they didn't have the greatest communication or, um, they've tried doing it themselves and they didn't really have the skill or the timeline to be able to, to uh, adequately do a video project. That's an example. Um, or maybe it's just like, I don't know how the, the financially, what, what equipment to buy or something like that. Cause everything looks so crazy and expensive. All right. So the next, the last one is how does your solution solve their problem? And you sell them the vacation, not the flight. So this is how we're going to be able to help you. And when, when you're talking about your solution, you want to sell them on, uh, when, when someone thinks about the going on vacation to Montana, no one wants to think about the TSA lines, baggage claims, delays, layover, time changes or anything. They just want to think about going to Montana. Um, so this is where you confront their objections that come up with and the sale tickable objections are time, money, they think about it or decision makers. So those are the four that, that most people end up coming with. And then oftentimes you can kind of like peel back and, and find out what's really behind that. Cause sometimes there's going to be something else behind that. And then after they buy from you, then you're going to reinforce their decision that they just buy. It prevents buyer's remorse. And this is the beginning of the relationship. And you want to give them an amazing first impression. Since you only have one shot, you might as well make it absolutely spectacular. Now there's the, there's the main three that we like to choose. We'll like to choose a handwritten card, a, a call from the owner or project manager, who's going to be doing that right, right away. And then uh, a book or a gift, something that you can give them um, after they decide to to buy with you. Now, what are the problems that you solve? Just to re re recap the five questions, what problems do you solve? What is the root cause of their problems? How do those problems affect them personally? What are the consequences of not solving the problems and how does your solution solve their problems? And once you figure out those five questions, they say it will be way easier than you might think it is. So this simple framework has closed over $60 million in sales the last three years for seventh level. So I know if it works for them, it can definitely work for you as well. All right. So you've now know how to close projects consistently with the three main things, social proof, irresistible offer, and the five question framework. And now you know exactly how to get new leads, get them excited to be on a call and you know how to close them as well. So now that you know our three-step process and the things that we've used to help hundreds of other companies fill their calendars capacity and change more lives and stack a whole lot of cash to quickly make this a bit more real, I want to run you through some numbers that you will be able to show you how possible this is. All right. So let's say your goal is to add 25 projects in 90 days. So that would be, let's just assume $20 cost per lead. We can get a little bit lower than that, but that's what we're going to assume. $20 cost per lead. And that means in 90 days, you're going to spend about maybe $12,000 in ads. And that's about $4,000 a month. So that's going to lead to, let's say a 50% booking rate, 50 cent show rate and 50% close rate. Some people are going to be higher. Some people are going to be lower. This is kind of what we average here. And in order to get 27 new or 25 new projects, you'd have to spend for you would get from those $47,000 in closed commissions in the next three months. If you did that now, um, there's, uh, just, just for, for an example, if you, if you wanted to get 25 new projects in the next 90 days, and this is exactly how you do that. So this is including just cash collected. This is not including lifetime value of the customer as well. You're going to make more off the back end as well. So $20 cost per lead, that's going to get you about 200 leads in total. And with a 50% booking rate, you're going to have hundred people that book with you. You're going to have 50 people who actually show up. And out of those, you're going to have 25 projects in total. That is how it's done. That is how you can do more video projects. Um, and how you can get more projects for your business in general. So I don't know, would you spend $12,000 in total to get $47,000 in business? I know I sure would. Now, this is like I said, also, because they actually pay for the acquisition of the next customer, you don't actually have to have an ad budget for this because you're going to get paid to get more customers. So remember, with client finance acquisition, you're, you're 2K per month in ad spend, 4K per month in ad spend, however much ever you're spending, we suggest four sometimes more and ad spend is covered after you finish the first two signups each week. Now, 
What you want you to do is book your call below and get high ticket clients. If you want a system that works just like this, like clockwork, that's able to guarantee to scale your business, go ahead and click the link below, book in a call with us, go through all of our testimonials, go through all of our other videos and see how we can be able to help you install the same system. I look forward to seeing you there.